What is it going on guys and welcome back to the Rams house. I'm going to be talking about Raheem Morris. I haven't really made a video on him the entire season. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts if you should be fired and giving you some stats to kind of back up what a lot of fans are kind of feeling this season and going over it with you. But I'd love to hear what you have to say down below. I know most of the Rams fan base has the same feeling but I'd still love to hear from you down below. Getting into this, I want to start off by saying the Packers loss that we had yesterday did not trigger me to make this video because I don't think it was solely on the defense. I think they played pretty well, but they still did not play up to the caliber they should be playing. But this is just kind of a collection through the losses that I'll be going through and what I've thought up to this season. So starting off with the Packers and Rams game, just the most recent game referencing the time of possession. Time of possession is a very important thing for teams to be able to win or lose a game. Usually the team that's dominating that is the one that wins. It, it can go out of hand if you're winning the time of possession, but most of the time, the time of possession plays a big role in who wins or loses as, as well as turnovers. So the Packers did have 40 minutes of time of possession to the Rams 20. That is a huge problem because that is double what the Rams had. 40 minutes is a crazy amount of time. You're dominating the game with how much you're having the ball. When the Rams offense is not really getting going as well, that makes it harder because you're playing from behind and you don't get the ball a ton of the times because they're just kind of hogging it, having these long possessions that wear you out. And then if the Rams offense can't do much, then that will just kind of put it back on the defense who is already exhausted, who is already giving up yardage. This is not the only game that that happened in though, in the 49ers game, it was 40 minutes of time of possession on their side to 20 minutes on our side. Exact same thing, we lost, the offense was doing terrible that game, but still inexcusable, you should not be giving up 40 minutes of time of possession, letting them have 10-11 minute drives, it's almost a whole quarter of possession that teams are having on us and we are not able to get off the field. It is putting our offense into situations where we need to try to get back into games all the time and we don't have much time to do it. We have to rush into things. The game plan has to go you know, out of the way. We, are, we aren't going to be following it as clearly because we're behind and we're barely getting the ball and we're running out of time to do so. There also have been third down conversions in the last few games, like the 49ers were 8 for 14 when we played them, and they they just, you know, were kind of having that type of game. The Packers were 7 for 19, which, and in the Cardinals loss, we let up 465 yards, and they were 8 for 13 on, as far as the third downs go, and they had 35 minutes of time of possession to 24 on the Rams side. And so, for a defense who was number one last year in pretty much all all remarks going from that to a bottom half defense who is not getting off the field who is putting our offense in bad situations sure again our offense has been turning over the ball that does need to be fixed but they're putting us in situations where we're, we're needing to throw away the game plan rush the offense become one dimensional not have much time and always be trying to come back in these games and so this is a big problem and not only that it's also about matchups Raheem Morris in this whole Jalen Ramsey experiment I don't know if it's the depth that corner that they have or if they're not confident in players but I do not like the Jalen Ramsey moving all over the field all the time it was cool to see definitely for a little bit but I'm kind of tired of it at this point I want him to be on the number one receiver if we can get that I know teams will try to motion receivers away from Ramsey but do everything you can to put him on the number one receiver and don't put Troy Reader on Devontae Adams. Yeah, I said that that happened yesterday. We had Troy Reader on Devontae Adams. Even on one play, we had Leonard Floyd on Devontae Adams. And we're seeing this thing where they're moving Ramsey around. He could be on a rookie who's barely doing anything in the season while the number one receiver is lighting us up because Ramsey's not on him. And it could be a linebacker like Troy Reader covering Devontae Adams or Leonard Floyd covering Debo Samuel. These things are just matchup nightmares for the Rams, and they are hurting themselves by doing this. And I think the adjustments need to be made as well for the Rams, because I do think that we played the run pretty well in this Packers game compared to, you know, versus the 49ers. That was a nightmare game. But I do think that adjusting on the fly in the game is something important that we need to do to be able to shut down these offenses, especially to shut down the time of possession and try to get the ball back for our offense and get these turnovers. But another thing that has been frustrating me about Raheem Morris is his coverage style and the scheme itself. We are playing the bend but don't break far off defense and which we are letting up like eight yards. 
I, in my opinion, I don't think the bend but don't break is working very well. They're getting down the field. I want us to play a physical man-to-man -man defense when we can. I don't like this soft stuff. I don't like putting barely any guys in the box to stop the run. I want us to play more aggressive with more tenacity on the defensive side of the ball and get the matchups that we like to do. Create some pressure. We need to be seeing that pressure. I don't know how with Leonard Floyd, Aaron Donald, and I almost said Jalen Ramsey, Leonard Floyd, Aaron Donald, and Von Miller. I, I don't know how you aren't creating a ton of pressure right now. I think that some things need to be fixed. I do understand the Rams did lose some players and some key pieces in the offseason last season, but I do think that this is inexcusable. I do think that the Rams should be investigating some sort of solution at defensive coordinator. We could have had Joe Barry, who's now on the Packers, who's doing really, really well on that defense, and we could have kept Aubrey Pleasant, who I think would have been amazing as a defensive coordinator as well. This needs to be fixed. Something needs to be happened, but I really don't see that happening for the rest of the season with Raheem Morris. Let me know what you think down below, though. Those are my thoughts. I do think, you know, we have to look into newer options, but I want to know what you think. And as always, I'm Rams House. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure to like the video if you did like it, and have an amazing day. Horns up and God bless.